Hello everyone, welcome to Horror and Monster Collectibles, where today we are going to be taking a look at Cinema Cat's One Third Concept Reaper from Blade 2. Now this piece has been out for a couple years, but I just finally landed one. It's uh, a piece that I've been searching for for a long time. And uh, this is the only made about 300 of them. Uh, we're not sure exactly how many were actually made because they're all made to order. And if the orders don't fill up to 300, then they only make what was ordered. So it's less than 300. And this is actually a sample piece from the factory um, that was sent to ECC uh, to approve production. And uh, I'm absolutely in love with it. Um, so uh, we'll take some video of it, some up close stuff. And uh, I got some pictures at the end that we can take some up close shots of. And uh, it's a great piece. So let's spin around and take a look. Before we go in deeper, I wanted to show you guys the uh, booklet that comes with the statue. And it kind of uh, gives you a rundown on the statue and the making of the statue. I'll let you guys pause any kind of uh, shots that you're looking for as we kind of keep on scrolling through here. But it's a nicely done book and uh, their packaging is top notch too. There's plenty of unboxing stuff for him. So we won't show too much of that, but uh, the boxing for it is nice. You know that you're getting a very, very top notch piece uh, just looking at the packaging for it. And this display does light up. We'll, uh, I'll show you Guys, that will turn off the lights and kind of light up the display so you can see the base. I won't be uh, lighting it up. I'll just have it sitting there. But uh, it's nice to know that they put in the effort to uh, get it to light up. And here is a shot of the hieroglyphics and the base lit up. You can see they kind of have like a glowing pattern to them. But it's very, very cool. Okay, so now we're gonna spin them around, take some up close shots, and kind of go over the details here. Again, like the, the face and paint app on here is top notch. We'll come down through here. The clothing is amazing, and also all the detail in the jewelry is fantastic. The material, this is like his shirt that, uh, that he was wearing that's ripped up and there's a um, wire frame on here so you can kind of bend it to give it some motion. Coming down through here to the pants. This is like a pleather. Maybe it may actually be leather. If it's pleather, it's a nice pleather. It's fitted on here. Come detail on the wear on the boots. And the decapitated vampire head which looks freaking gnarly. Here are the holes in his back. Come across through here through the face again. Just because that's the most kick-ass part to me anyway. Hands. It's just so well done. It's a grail piece, piece for a reason, and uh, the price on him has just kind of skyrocketed a bit. Mine has a little bit of wear right here, but uh, nothing that a little bit of paint can't fix. So yeah, badass. So I absolutely love this piece, just like all e ECC stuff. I, It's just top notch. You know you're getting a quality product. Uh, this guy is about 28 inches from the bottom of the base to the top of his head. 
Um, I love the one third scale. I think that uh, it provides the best as far as detail. Um, but you know, a lot of people collect uh, quarter scale and that's fine. Like I, I have quarter scale pieces too, but I prefer the one third scale. So anyway, I hope you enjoyed the review. Uh, feel free to leave any questions or comments and feel free to like and subscribe. And until next time, I will see you guys later.